Welcome back to the Vintage Habits Podcast. I'm your host, JB, a.k.a. JB the Artist. This is the podcast where we discuss a variety of topics from fashion, music, culture, and uh, just a little bit of everything, man. Just a little bit of everything. Welcome back. I'm excited to see you guys. I know I've been saying I've been wanting to upload more. I've just been super busy with school and trying to start up my brand and work and all this other shit. But it's cool now because we're still, you know, sticking to the Fridays consistently. I think we're on like our six week streak, rather. So we're doing good on the Fridays, man. But uh, today, just a little quick, simple video. I want to show you guys my shoe collection because it's pretty much done at this point and any other shoes that I get is just kind of here and there I may do a more updated version if I get like maybe three or more new pairs but as of now the shoe collection is officially finished okay so we're gonna go by brand and we're gonna start off with New Balance alright so right here I have the New Balance 2002s um, these are a recent pickup that I just got and honestly I love these kicks. You know, just like, I feel like New Balance is just overall just like an underrated shoe brand. And they're just super duper comfortable to wear. They're probably my most comfortable shoe. Just walking around, I feel like I can jog in these, hoop in these, do just, you know, several multiple activities in these. The reason I choose, chose the 2002 pair was because it was a little basic, but it also had small details in it that kind of stood out to me. You see here on the tongue, it almost has like this, you know, um, decaying feeling to it with rips and tears and just certain foam pieces that you can see and this is just a I don't have any shoes that are gray and this was honestly me just trying to expand my style so it is a shoe that I'm very in love with some outfits I can definitely see me wearing with this or you know some black pants black parachute pants specifically maybe even gray I can mix this in with some North Face or Arterix this is something that I would bring camping you know just a very classic, comfortable shoe. Like I said, multi-terrain for sure. If I'm not, if I'm really just trying to run out the house, I actually wore these today. Just trying to run out the house, run out the crib real quick. Like I said, probably my most comfortable shoe in my collection. Overall for the 2002s, I would give them a 9 out of 10. Definitely a good pickup. Okay, so that was the only New Balance shoe that I had. Next, we're going to go into Adidas. First, I want to start off with the Foam Runners. So these are the clay mesh colorway that I actually picked up about two months ago. Honestly, man, I don't know. These are a little bit on the edge with this. At first, you know, I definitely did want a pair of foam runners. I thought they'd be super duper comfortable. I'm not sure if it's because I haven't f fully broken into them yet or just because it's just how they are, but these shoes aren't very comfortable for me to wear. I don't know if I should have gotten a size up. I usually wear a size 12 and these are size 12s. Maybe I should have got a size 13. Comfortability on these kicks are not my favorite for sure. Besides that, I love the design of the shoe. Looks very spacey, gives me the Star Trek vibes for sure. There's not many things that I would wear with this, but overall, if I'm just going out, you know, I would definitely throw on maybe some shorts. I feel like I would wear this more in the summer, definitely. Maybe even on the beach, it gives me that type of vibe. Throw some socks with it. It almost gives me like this redesigned croc feel. I love how there's no tongue. The sole is very detailed. It feels like someone almost, you know, hand designed this with their fingers just by pressing and molding in it. Colors are super duper dope. You won't see this colorway often. Most people have black or cream, but this mesh colorway I liked because they just kind of literally did that, just mesh two different colors together. And I think it's a cool design by Kanye, but comfortability wise, it's the one that really just got me. So overall, I'm gonna give Yeezy Foam Runner Mesh a 6.5 out of 10. Okay, next we have the classic Yeezy Slide. Man, this shoe just really blow blew up over 2020. And past COVID. I remember not many people were put onto this shoe and then after COVID a bunch of people just had this shoe. Definitely, definitely a solid pickup. I believe this was my first ever pair that I bought of shoes that I like physically bought and I still love them. They broke in very well, very comfortable. Honestly, they they've have they have kind of flooded the market recently and so I did like I did like them when they were just kind of chill. But besides that, super clean shoe, definitely cool. I wouldn't even mind getting some other colorways. It's simple. It, it's simple colors simple design but also recognizable and overall just pretty solid comfortable for a slide what you would expect i just love the material that he uses on this kanye specifically besides that i would so overall i would give the yeezy slide cool eight out of ten okay so that's all of the adidas let's get into nike and when i mean nike i mean purely nike not jordan that would be a different section okay so we're starting off with my first ever dunk the syracuse dunk man i just love this shoe it's not a shoe that i wear very often the reason that i got this color is because i knew orange is a color that i didn't have in my closet and that it would definitely you know challenge me to make some outfits out of this as you can see they're a little bit beat honestly i've only worn this shoe maybe 10 times 
and they still look they're a little bit beat but overall solid condition i'm not a fan of syracuse but i just love this orange colorway it gives me like orange soda vibes and like i said it really pushed me to like really expand my style as far as colors go just because i don't really have anything orange in my closet so i had to alt so when i was going out thrifting and finding things i would typically try to look for things that were more orange super fire shoe overall comfortability is okay i mean it's a dunk overall i'm gonna give the shoe an 8 out of 10 very solid colorways there are definitely more dunk colorways that i want to pick up the michigan's for shoe the michigan's for sure the university blues or the kentuckys i think they're called and the chicago dunks for sure next nike shoe is the strange love dunk one of my more recent pickups got this about a month ago again this was one of those shoes where it's like i didn't have much in my closet and i really just trying to expand i have no pretty much zero to no pink in my closet besides like this bait hoodie that y'all see behind me and like some pants and a hoodie so this really just expanded this really just challenged my style a lot also love it because it's a skater shoe i love skateboarding and honestly it had the most details you can see on the sole here it has this gum sole almost clear transparent with these dots the box that it came in it had like three different boxes with stickers i love the plushy tongue and the velvet that they use on this like if i could have this shoe displaying i would it's just a great shoe to have overall like i said really challenging my style feels just like the Syracuse dunk though as far as comfortability goes I mean you're not gonna get any like new balance level you know after a couple of maybe three or four hours just walking in these my foot starts to hurt a little bit but hey that's just me personally I know for some people it doesn't really affect them that much 8.7 out of 10 like I said I really just love the colors on this this really just stood out to me and just the detail that they added in the dunk okay so that's all the Nikes let's get into Jordan okay so this is gonna be where majority of the video is let's start with another more recent pickup I got this about two months ago, the Pure Money 4s. You know, I've never been such a huge fan of white shoes, but these have been on my list for so long that I just had to get them. I do kind of hate that they're beat. They're all white shoes, so you have to be careful, obviously. I need to get them cleaned. But yes, this is probably one of my favorite fours of all time, besides this and the cause fours for sure. Yeah, so overall, this shoe was just a must have. This was my first ever pair of fours, actually. So this was a shoe that I just, you know, would definitely be remembering. So many outfits that I can throw on with this, just because it's white with the silver wing. Overall, I would give this shoe an eight out of 10. Actually, I'll bump that up to a nine, just because, you know, it was my first, and I love this colorway so much. All right, next on the roster is the Black Cat fours. So obviously getting the pure monies, I had to get their counterpart, black cats. Love this shoe because I'm not afraid to get them dirty at all. They're all black, clean. They look brand new actually the day that I got them. In love with this shoe so, so much. In a weird way, this shoe actually also challenged my style because I don't have a lot of black outfits, but these go well with these cargos that I wear like at least once a week. Definitely will not regret purchasing these. Like I said, just because I'm not afraid to get them dirty. They're all black, which is very simple. And they're fours, they look clean. So overall, I would give these also a nine out of 10. All right, let's get into all of the Jordan ones that I have. First, we're gonna start off with the first pair of Jordan ones that I ever received. These are the Mocha Jordan ones. Honestly, I got these shoes about a year ago. My most beat Jordan for sure. I wore these to the ground, but I still am in love with this Mocha colorway in this shoe. I remember I think I got these at the beginning of my senior year in high school and I was just able to throw on so many different fits with it. Just my first Jordan, man. It's just very nostalgic. The yellowing on the soles, creasing, everything about this shoe I am in love with. The name, the color, the way it fits. You know what I mean? It's just like the perfect shoe for me almost. And it's weird because the mocha isn't even my favorite colorway. <laughs> Overall, I would give this shoe a 10 out of 10 just because it was my first ever Jordan 1 so it would always be nostalgic to me and it is a shoe that I don't wear too often but I know that I can always throw. It's almost like my beater Jordan if that makes sense. Like if I know I'm going to get dirty I definitely want to get these dirty. My second pair of Jordans, the Carolina Blues I believe this colorway is called. Uh, also be, I want to have these cleaned up. These are probably my most comfortable fitting Jordans in a weird way. I don't know. They just fit different. I think it's the material that they're made out of. But yes, these are just my, these are definitely my most comfortable ones. Um, love the light blue. Definitely still have a bunch of outfits for this. I remember I have a Snorlax bag that kind of matches it. Uh, got these my senior year of high school too. Very beat to the ground, but also like my most comfortable one. I love the colors and tones. Gives me kind of like Easter, sky blue, aesthetic vibe type feel. And I love the shoe, man. Overall, I'm gonna give these an eight out of 10. Not a bad pickup, they just need to be cleaned. Next, we have another beater kind of, the Court Purples. I wanted these shoes for so long and then I actually got them and I was like, 
oh, they're not as clean as they look in pictures. But I still like them. I think the purple was just too dark for me. I was expecting something more like magenta. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I know it wasn't like magenta color, but I was just expecting a lighter purple. Besides that, they're clean shoes, man. I feel like they're becoming way more popular. I love the color purple. They give me like Pierre Prince vibes. Definitely not a shoe that I wear every day, but I know that I can definitely throw down with these. These also probably need to be cleaned. I think I got these about a year ago as well. Beaters. Overall, I'm gonna give the court purples a seven out of 10. Next, we're gonna go with a more recent pickup, Jordan 1 Denims. Um, so I put red laces on this. I need to put white laces, but Honestly, not one of my more favorite pickups. I just got sent these. I like them. They're okay. Probably not a shoe that I'll wear often though. I already have the Carolina Blues. So these are more just like a collector's piece, just sitting on the shelf type thing. Um, I don't know, I'm not a big fan of denim. The white and blue do look clean. They came with like these gold tabs. I took that off. I didn't think that looked too good. But yeah, it just wasn't really one of my favorite colorways and I, I just got sent them. You know what I mean? And uh, overall, I would give these probably a six out of 10. These are one I'm probably my least favorite Jordan ones. Just because of the colors. I'm not a big fan of denim, me personally. It doesn't really fit my style. They tried to mix red, blue, and gold, which I just don't think those colors really match well together overall. Next, we got the Travis Scott Jordan 1s. These are starting to get a little bit beat. I picked these up about three weeks ago. Put the pink laces on them just because I love the color light pink compliments the brown very well i love what travis did with this whole design with the back backward swoosh i was wanting these for a while really glad i picked these up they have like this natural yellowing yellowing that comes with the shoe i love the design in the print the cactus jack logo that he has on the back here the red tab is amazing as well and it's the same colors as the mochas but it's the travis scott ones so it's not a shoe that you can hate on man another detail that i didn't i also noticed didn't notice until i got the shoe was so on the heel, there's this velvet pocket that I didn't know about. And I just thought that was super fire, man. I'm a big fan of Travis Scott if you know me personally or just know me from social media. Or if you're new, now you know. Overall, 8.5 out of 10. I love the shoe. I love the colors. I love how the colors complement. I love the details. Overall, good pickup. All right, moving into our last two here. First, we have the Jordan Off-White Once. R.I.P. Virgil Abloh, man. Because this is probably the most detailed shoe that I have in my collection. Everything about it, man from the flaps on the sides, to the laces, to the drawing on the soles. This shoe just kind of has everything redesigned and reconstructed. And I just love Virgil's concept going into redesigning this shoe. Him talking about, you know, breaking down the shoe and rebuilding it up pretty much, almost like a project piece. These are beat as hell and I want a new pair. Probably won't get a new pair, honestly, but yes, I love these shoes. Like I said, rest in peace, Virgil Abloh, man. We lost a great designer, great fashion influencer. I actually have to do a video on him, but even from the having the shoe and on the side, as you can see here on the tongue, just so many small details that he added on this shoe, the lettering, the stitching, how it looks. Like I said, man, we just lost a great fashion designer. And this is my only off-white pickup, but I definitely want some more. Overall, nine out of 10 on the shoe. I just love everything about it. Like I said, the redesign, the reconstruction of it. It's just amazing. In my most recent pickup, in the final piece to the collection, 2015 Jordan 1 Chicago. I wanted the 89 pairs. I couldn't get my hands on them. So I opted out for the 2015s. I know that they're doing a re-release coming up in a few days here, I believe. But I didn't want the re-release. I wanted the 2015 pair. Definitely, definitely spent some money on this. Similar to its counterpart, counterpart the off-white redesigned one. It's just another classic shoe. I wore these for the first time today, actually. As you can see, they're still super clean. This is just like the OG of OG, the ultimate grails, man. Jordan wore them playing basketball. I know everybody wants a pair of these shoes, this shoe. It literally goes with almost everything in a weird way. And like I said, it's just this clean, classic shoe. You cannot go wrong with it. Just a simple red, white toe, black laces. Very, very clean and crisp shoe, man. Obviously the cleanest shoe that I have in my collection because I've only worn them once and I don't hope to be wearing them often. I'm gonna give this one a nine out of 10 as well. Just an amazing shoe. 
from the even the souls all right that is the end of this video please tell me if you guys enjoyed this type of content i promise you guys that i will post twice this week i know that i've been saying that for the longest but this is the guarantee that i will post twice this week because i know i need to start posting more tell me what other videos you guys would like to see if you guys want to know how i got some of these pairs dm me on instagram and i'll show you some of the companies that sent them to me some of the shoes i did actually have to buy some of the shoes i actually got sent for, by companies so a little bit of mix however if you guys have any questions just dm me on instagram at jb the artist and don't forget my brand drops in 14 days once this video comes out i believe the brand's called angels of arc our first collection will be pendants and belts. Pendants will go for $30 and the belts will go for $50. We'll be dropping on November 25th. On that date, type into Google angelsofarc.com and our website will pop up. Super excited to release the brand. Lots of things coming for it. I'm super excited. I hope you guys are too. I'll tag the Instagram in the description. Make sure to go check it out. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next episode.